C underscore for here says God played this game and since it was so good he cried. Now if the devil played this game? Devil may cry too, bonsai. I, uh, I'm still thinking about that ending. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it still haunts me. The ending of the, uh, last game of Devil May Cry was, uh, <laughs> some... <laughs> it was one of the endings of all time, okay? I still can't, like, process what I went through in that last 30 seconds. 30 minutes of that game. That was just... <laughs> And now I'm playing the second game. Now I'm playing Devil May Cry 2. Now we're playing what is known to be one of the most disappointing games of all time, based on my research. I wouldn't say it's considered to be one of the worst games of all time or anything like that, but it's not considered to be a very good Devil May Cry game. And uh, that's something we have to keep in mind. But then again, I, I wouldn't say like the first game was top tier, the best of the best ever, you know? So... Who knows, maybe this will actually be a pleasant surprise. I'm launching the game as we speak, by the way, so don't worry about that. We're just gonna get right into it. We're just gonna, like, see whatever the fuck is gonna happen here. Hello, yo. Welcome to one of the, uh... One of the games of all time. Welcome to Devil May Cry 2. I have no fucking idea what's gonna happen at this point, point to be honest. Like, I legit have no clue. It's kind of weird, I, like, I'm gonna be playing Devil May Cry 2, and at the same time, I'm playing- Wait, oh, wait, wait, I have an actual choice, what the fuck? So, uh, wait, I'll switch screen so you can actually see what I'm seeing right here, uh... So, if we go here, right, and I do this, I know you can't hear any sound, but like... Yeah, this is what I get right now, Dante or Lucia, so... Apparently there's a choice, apparently uh, I'm not sure which one is the correct one. I will say Dante looks much more edgy in this one, which is uh, which is something, alright. Uh, okay, I, I think we'll do Dante, I have no idea if we should do this one too. We'll see, uh, but we'll begin with Dante. Uh, Devil May Cry 2, would you like to continue? Yes, I would. Look at my boy there. I'm switching this to uh, a screen where we'll actually hear sound. Uh, well, it was pretty much the first of his kind. Yeah, true, 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 true. Not blaming the game. Not blaming the game over that one. But like, it's it just kind of like, you know, wasn't the greatest thing of all time. I'm still glad I went through it <laughs> all in all for the ending alone. The ending was uh, something else. Uh, so right now, my screen is on Devil May Cry 2 data, checking data, do not turn off the power. Is it supposed to be this long though? I am running a PC, not a PlayStation 2 game. I'm, I'm just like reminding you. Oh, wait, the game... Nope. Did the game already crash? We were here for uh, one second or so. I'm pretty sure the game crashed, so... Yeah, the game crashed. Okay, uh, that's a good start. Devil May Cry 2. That is indeed a very good start. Let me, uh, I'm not even sure how to handle this one, to be honest. I'll just end task and we'll try again. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, huh? Maybe this, like, is the game. The game just crashes and it doesn't even work. Maybe that's what's supposed to happen. Let's go again. The game is just too peak that I can't even load it. That's the thing. Devil May Cry 2, Dante. Let's go again. I get the epic loading screen. The game once again turned my screen black. Okay, there we go. I think it works now. This footage contain. Jesus fucking Christ, this is loud. I know you can't see shit yet, though. Okay. Alright. It did work this time around, but holy shit. Okay, uh, DMC2. And DMC2. 
And I'm gonna lower the ever-living fuck out of that one, because holy shit, that was a little bit too much. <laughs> that was jump scare level of loud, to be fair. There you go. Did the game crash again? The game... <laughs> The game crashed again, dude. I think every time you minimize this game, it's gonna crash. Yeah, I, b I believe that's what's happening. Every time I minimize the game, it crashes. Okay, all right then. So uh, hopefully OBS is now set and I can launch the game up one final time without uh, having to minimize it for anything. Do keep that in mind though, that this means something, all right. Maybe it's a message from God. I, I believe it is. I, I believe God is telling us to not play this fucking game. <laughs> but, well, here we are. Let's go third time. Dante. What's the difference between like Dante and Lucia? The other one, I think. Lucia, Lucia. All right, let's go again. Capcom presents. I don't think I would want my name on this, but okay. Devil May Cry 2. Oh shit, there's a castle. That's Dante from Devil May Cry. That's Lucia, the one we could choose. Oh shit, they're fighting. Oh fuck, there's another NPC dude. Explosion. Dante's on a bike. That was that 9-11. Dante's now jumping off a building. He has two guns. I mean, combat, it, it looks the same in a way, doesn't it? So, can this really be that bad? I have no idea what the fuck was that. Is that Lucia's, Lucia, Lucia's, whatever, we'll learn her name, form, devil trigger form, probably. If that means I have to play the game twice with uh, each and every character, that's not gonna happen. Let's uh, just put that out of the way. So first of all, as you can see right here, uh, we have a lot of options, a lot of settings, uh, which are vibration, brightness, and default. So already this is a good port. Uh, second of all, you can tell the resolution is really top tier for this one, so, you know. Oh shit, it said the name. Let's begin. So, uh, this game was made by the team that's gonna make like every single Devil May, Devil May Cry game. Uh, but this was their first one, they had trouble in development, and uh, yeah. In an age of darkness, when the earth was overrun with demons and humans... Will this game acknowledge the first game, you think? Or uh, just pretend that never happened? Because I have a lot of questions, like... <laughs> a lot of questions. Okay, it is a continuation. Sparta may cry. Oh shit. So if I was playing as her, do you think I'd play this section right here or uh that would not happen? And now the legend of Sparta has been inherited by his son. Is the volume too low for you guys? Cause uh I think I might have lowered it a bit too much. <laughs> of course he enters through the fucking window. But I'm scared of uh, minimizing the game again so soon. Maybe when we actually save and we... Yeah, you can't hear the game. Yeah, it's really low for me too. I'll adjust it once we get to save something. Or you know what, after the cutscenes we can just skip it if it crashes. Which is what probably going to happen to be fair. Oh fuck. My name is John Dante May Cry. No, she didn't. She doesn't have a phone, Dante. Till next time, son of Sparta. I think she's French, guys. <laughs> I think. Oh no. The French have won once more. I'm already crying, saying maybe I am a devil. Mission 1. 
toward the north, the hunter of dark blood will realize his destiny. Okay. I guess we get more cutscenes. Let's go. So the game, the, the game immediately begins. We have no, like, proper introduction to really anything. Nor does it feel like a... I don't know, a continuation of the first game. It's kind of like... Dante's here, right? But that's that. Don't remember what happened to that uh, other girl. But uh, controls are the same by the looks of it. Oh, you actually dodge with the B button this time around. Thank God. And you jump. Okay, you know what? Like, control-wise... This is kind of an improvement already. You have a double jump immediately. I guess I can immediately do this. Yeah, okay. Let's see here. Status. Items. You already have those. Equip. So I see this is how you still change weapons. File. Okay. Map and save. Let's save. Just so we can actually turn up the game volume a little bit. How do I go back? Okay, there you go. Uh, the options are still top tier. Yeah, they are. No changes. Restart the mission. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's take a risk. You know what? I'm not gonna go into menu mode. Let's take a risk and uh, minimize the game and see what happens. And up the volume by like, I don't know, 15 more. Did the game crash or are we safe? <laughs> the game crashed. I am just not allowed to minimize the game ever in this one. Like, that's what I, uh, that's what I gather. You are just not allowed to do it. I can't. All right. Let's force the game down and, uh, reopen it without minimizing it ever again. Hopefully the volume is going to be good enough. If not, we're, uh, we'll manage. Imagine if you are going to like this game more than DMC1. Yeah, right? Like, that would be such a meme, but I <laughs> I don't know. On the basic few things I've seen, with, which are the controls, there are, it's already an improvement, you know? But it's not hard. Like, it's not even a compliment, because... I, I don't think you guys realize just how bad the MC1's controls were. Like, they were too clanky. Okay. Let's go again. Mission 1. Mission start. Let's begin this. Let's see what this game really is going to cook. So again, controls are actually better. That is something, all right. Can I break that? Yeah, you can. And I already got a red orb. So we already have the currency back. Good to know. Let's go around here, see if we actually get rewarded for our things. I do like the fact that uh, you have a double jump immediately. Yeah, true, the design of the menu and everything is already better too. So, so far, we do see an improvement. There is some sort of improvement here. That's something. I see we can even go right or uh, there's another way there, meaning the levels are open again and I like that. Okay. Unless I'm completely wrong. Yeah, I am completely and utterly wrong because what the fuck are these stairs? But okay. Right, there's something up here? Nope. I guess we go right. From what I searched, DMC2 happens after DMC4. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Uh, so we need to keep in mind there is a huge fucking time skip, I suppose. Can I jump over this? Yeah, you can. You can even jump back. Okay, meaning if I want to go down, am I allowed to go down? Am I allowed to do that? Yes, indeed. Okay. Not too bad so far. Like, I, uh... I'm not even sure what I expected, but not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, it's timeline is messed up. Okay, uh, we're going Legend of Zelda timeline type of thing. Good luck uh, explaining that to anyone ever. Nintendo tried, I, I don't think they uh, succeeded, but they tried. But I mean, so far, I can uh, appreciate the controls, you know. That is already good. You have more cutscenes in a level two, I think. Unless it's only gonna be for the first mission, but we'll see. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm not even sure what I'm fighting, but let's begin. My guns are back with vengeance by the looks of- Holy fucking crap.
Um, so that was combat in Devil May Cry 2, uh, as we were introduced to it. Yeah, at least now I can tell who I'm uh, locked onto, I suppose. This is my Devil Trigger form, I'm just testing things out. This is the thrust attack thingy. I, I, I don't think I have to use the uh, RB this time around. I'm not sure why it's even here, to be fair. But okay. Let me tie that Dante face. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a roleplay. As you can see, like with that uh, expression right there, I expressed grief and uh, and sadness at the same time. So yeah. Okay, okay, more enemies, sure, more enemies. Uh, uh, I'm not sure how you turn the. Okay, you do this. Where's the enemy though? Oh, there's another one. I can see the shadow. So that was the second section of combat in Devil May Cry 2. Uh, as you can see, it was really hard, uh, but I managed to make it through using a lot of uh, combat skills and abilities that I've learned throughout the... Uh, yeah. Yeah, that I learned throughout the game. Uh, my first time experiencing shit. So uh, the tutorial is really, really godly. Can I swim? Well, you can't swim, you can go into the sewer. Okay, let's see if uh, we have any reason to explore. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Basically, they did what you said, but then uh, DMC5 returned it to... What the fuck is up with DMC's, uh... Okay, you know what? We'll get there. We'll find out. There's a lot of plot to behold, so I, I think I'm supposed to go here. Meaning I don't want to go here. Oh, shit. I'm shooting the wall right now, but that's okay. You know, at least this time around, unless... Unless I missed it somehow before, I actually see the health bar of enemies. I appreciate that, to be fair. Uh, I may already be the goaded... Like, the most goaded player to ever touch DMC2, because I've yet to get hit, even once. I'm just saying, so... Maybe I'm just that guy. Like, maybe I'm just him. Okay, there's a... Uh, a continuation to the level up there. Oh, shit. Did the other mob just AFK while I was doing that? Oh, we got it. Nice. Let's uh, jump down, I guess. Oh! Wait a second, that was kinda cool. Oh, shit! You can run on walls. That's great, to be fair. <laughs> like, control-wise, this is great. I'll take it. Oh, shit, they respawn. I'm beginning to think there might be a problem with uh, with the guns in this game. I'm beginning to think we may have some issues here. Like, I, I have a sword. What is the sword useful for? I want to do that again. Like, that's actually so cool. If it, it's, like, actually used in, I don't know, sections in the game and shit, that could be so fucking cool. Wall running and double jumping on shit. Make this a platform game, I'll be happy. Eve wish she hadn't had such a spell. <laughs> Why are you aiming at the guy down there? You know what? That works. I'll use it to my advantage. There you go. Still works. Okay. I think I figured out how to make Dante switch targets.
<laughs> what the fuck is happening? Oh, there's something there. Wait. Don't worry, guys. I got him. I think. Yeah, look at the health bar. There you go. This is, uh... This is gameplay, alright. What if I jump? Will I be able to hit him? Yeah. <laughs> no fucking way! No fucking way this is the game. No, this has to be a first level type of thing. Ain't no fucking way this is gonna be it for the whole game. I refuse to believe it. There's no way. <laughs> There's no fucking way that this is going to be the whole game. How do I run on the wall again? Wait, oh, there you go. That's so cool though. How do I interact with things? Okay, B. Swords, guns. Increase the power of my guns. Well, I know what I'm gonna be doing. I know what I'm gonna be doing. Wait until you play Peak of Combat. Peak of Combat? It's gonna get even better. I'll actually have to use my, uh... My other buttons. <laughs> Why does he look like the Giga Chad? You know? <laughs> he has that chin of like, oh yeah. Okay, there's a lot of enemies. Surely I, I won't be able to get away with just like guns, right? I actually have to go back this time. Oh shit. It's getting real, people. Oh fuck, it's getting real. One of them just AFK'd, I'm pretty sure, but it's getting real. One of them was... Okay, he spawned right here. Oh shit. I'm so sweaty right now. Never mind. I think I can AFK now. So how was your day? I uh, I played a lot of Final Fantasy XIV today, didn't really have anything else I needed doing, which was fun. Finally bought the game, got to level 70, I figured out why not. Already wasted like 100 hours on the game I think, so might as well. It's gonna be worth it. Having fun. Yeah. That was my day. Got to a really good point in the story as well. Yeah. Also, uh, yeah, I got into the free market of the game, so-called. Gonna crush the economy, I think. That's gonna be my next goal. Already made some few, uh, few bucks out of it. Why not? Do I need to pick this up somehow? There you go. <laughs> Bro, that K- Oh yeah, we do, we do not talk about that. That's an optional mission for a raid. The raid was like incredibly fucking fun. I just had a heart attack when I uh, I saw Kate Sith in that game. It's not like the actual Kate Sith, mind you. It's just a reference to him, right? But holy shit. I'm telling you, actors always fall to drugs. It's kind of sad to see. Yeah, that, that is terrifying. That Kate Sith is actually terrifying. Already 100 bro. I was, bro, you are addicted? Yeah, I am. To be fair, I'm not sure it's even 100 hours, to be honest. I AFK a fuck ton. I'm pretty sure I left the game open like 20 hours without actually playing it. Uh, Cause sometimes I play and like I have to uh, to log off, right? But I just AFK and an end or just stand in place randomly and the game keeps counting your hours even though you're in the menu. You know how Steam works, right? Same for the launcher for some reason. If you are only in the launcher, like if the launcher is open, uh, you are still counting hours of playtime according to Steam, so I'm really not sure how many hours I have, but come on, it's a fuck done. I am addicted to the game, it's so fun. 
Uh, this one is, uh, may not be as fun, but you know. Oh, well, there you go. He actually hit me twice. Damn, we're dealing with that guy. Let's actually try using the sword for a bit. Maybe I, I just need to not use the guns, and then the combat will make more sense in the game, you know? Maybe I'll actually get to do something. Yeah, I recommend everyone to check out Final Fantasy XIV. Again, I, I was pleasantly, really pleasantly surprised. I think the game is being done injustice. Uh, when you see, like, videos of it, all of my friends got addicted as well. Swordless run is over, boys. Do you really want to see a swordless run? <laughs> I, could, I have a feeling you could actually play the whole game only spamming X. Like, that shit was too fucking powerful. Did I just fly? Did, that did not look a, like a jump, but okay. Oh, that's such a fucking 2000s transition. Transition, like it's insane. Save. And you know what's gonna happen next, boys. You know what's coming next. Never mind, you don't get the option to go to shop here at the end of stage. That's surprising. Where is Mathieu? Not only can you do that, it's also pretty easy. Hey. <laughs> but I want I just want to try using the sword for this mission and then I'll probably never do it again if it's bad, but maybe that will make the game more fun, you know. Maybe. Is that the same voice actor or not? I'm trying to figure that one out. I don't think so. I think they're all different. What about like the darkness and the light? That's one way of writing a, uh, an introduction to a character, giving you the backstory like that. I'm Dante. It's your lucky day. Imagine if the coin actually did not land like that. What then? Would he be like, yeah, I'm going home, never mind that. All this shit. If you are successful, I will tell you a story about your father, son of Spider. Yay, we, we, we'll get to hear a story. Maybe now we'll get the shop here. Power up. Yes, there you go. All right, boys. Fuck. I, I think we'll just save to this. 10,000. What else do we have? Sword Rebellion. Now nah, we'll, uh, we'll save for the guns. Guns go burr. All right. Time to make the devil's cry once again. Can you open the door? Okay, a guard that protects the silence of the underground tomb. You must defeat it. That was a hard fight. Luckily, I'm John Dante and I got through it. Moving on. I think the camera's a little better than uh, last time, you know? Maybe. So far we have not run into issues, like annoying issues and shit. Oh fuck, another boss. Oh shit, I'm ready. Good thing I'm John Dante. Oh no, wait, oh, let's use the swords. What the fuck? Did this bro just AFK right in front of me right there? All right, that's enough sword for a playthrough, I think. We've established that uh, the swords are indeed a weapon in this game. Oh fuck, that's another boss. I got the guardian of the door, guys. Yeah, I'm John Dante. 
I love that uh, Dante is an asshole in this game. Like, would he genuinely want to help these poor people? If they, yeah, I would actually love if that uh, was like a secret cutscene. You know, like there's a <laughs> a nine percent chance or some shit you're gonna get that when you play the game for the first time, where uh, Dante just gets the wrong coin, fucks off, and uh, the credits roll, and that's it. You finish the game. Congratulations. Bro, you already give him the cool Sekiro guy voice? I have to, like, he's cooler. He is just- he is cooler. What can I say? Like, D John Dante is just, like, cooler. I mean, John Sekiro was also cool, but John Dante is, like, the coolest. He's like the Devil May Cry dude, you know? John Devil May Cry Dante, that's his full name, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm the writer, how'd you know? I work for I- Oh fuck, that's a bat! I'm killing the bats. I'm- God, Dante's gonna go and ape shit, but you know, it works. John Dante leaves to do, to do something another day, let's go. Oh shit, I'm surrounded. Good thing I'm John Dante, guys. Otherwise, how the fuck did I do that? Wait, <laughs> yo, I uh, I, I think I've just realized I can fully break the game with this shit if I manage to do that again somehow. Dante doesn't actually listen most of the time. Was I'm not sure how to do that, but uh, if I can figure out a way to do this shit, then there you go. We've just completed the game. Like <laughs> this. I've been told this game doesn't really feel like Dev a Devil May Cry game, but like... I mean, it does feel like the first game. But just like... There's no reason to switch a weapon ever. Right now. Light a blue flame, and then the wall, the way will be opened. Okay, game. Am I defeating another, uh, guardian door? Let's go. Destroyer of doors is what they call me. Oh fuck, it resets though. Let me think. What if you do this? If I press on that again, will it reset the timer? One way to find out, I guess. No, it will not. Oh, let me out. I guess you do this. Come on, Dante from Devil May Cry. We need to jump around. No, Dante from Devil May Cry. How do I how do I do this shit again though? How do I make it actually possible again? Just like faster, I suppose. What? But I I I didn't solve the Really? Was that all? I thought you had to destroy all of them or something. Really? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm so fucking smart. It's kind of crazy. Like, it's kind of crazy how big brain I am when it comes to games. I feel like I'm missing on a lot of exploration here, though. Aren't I? Like, I guess we'll just keep walking forward. Because I'm Dante from Devil May Cry John. Oh, fuck, a guardian door. Another boss defeated. Blue orb fragments. Let's go. This will uh, give us all. Oh shit. Now this is B combat right here. Look at this. The enemy is so flabbergasted by like my cool abilities. He can't actually do anything. Oh fuck. I'm so good. I'm so fucking good. It's unreal. It's unreal. It's unfucking real. Yeah, no, it is. It is. It's John Dante uh, of John Sparta. It is. Just, uh, he is him. What can I say? Oh, fuck. Another boss. Wait. I got it. Nice. Let's go. Telling other. These guardian doors are probably one of the best designed bosses I've ever seen in the game. Ever. What the fuck? Where am I? <laughs> What happened to that? <laughs> no. What did I get here? What? Okay, never mind. Fuck, something is attacking me, I think. 
Because the mu yeah, the music is playing. I can't see what what is happening though. I think I, I got him though. Oh fuck! There's another bad. What are you shooting at, Dante? Oh, I won. Oh fuck! There's another. Wait, another boss right there. Did he shoot things through the wall? Don't worry, I got it, guys. I got it. There you go. What do you think about about Virgon? We could call him Virgon. Okay, that's not a door. That's misleading. Oh fuck, Pyromancer! Where's the Pyromancer? Oh, there he is. Let's go, John Dante. Come on. Nice fight, nice fight. We got it. Come on, there's another one, John Dante. Let's go. Good shit. We got him. We got him. Nice. Oh fuck, another one spawned. We're in danger. Shit, two more spawn. Oh fuck, wait. Don't worry, don't worry, I got this. Nice, I think I got them all. Let's go. Good job, boys. We got through it, we did it. Let's go. Another boss right here. Nice. So, I already killed like four bosses, I think, in the game. Maybe even more. That's just kind of what happens when you're uh, John Dante. Like, it is what it is. It is what it is, guys. Virgil canonically had sex. Can I, like, meet Virgil finally instead of seeing, like, a guy in an armor in the game and be like, yeah, that's supposed to be Virgil? And then, like, he fucks off or something. Can I actually meet the dude? It's the one where, uh, he sits on a plastic chair in memes, right? <laughs> I'm really hoping that's not an edit and it's actually a real thing. If that's a real thing, I'm playing Devil May Cry 5 with a plastic chair, okay? If that's a real fucking thing, I'm playing Devil May Cry 5 with a plastic chair. Because who needs a gaming chair, am I right? No one. That's the end. Oh fuck, wait, I'm surrounded! Oh fuck, someone's shooting me. Oh no! I'm in actual danger! What am I gonna do? One of the enemies is AFKing. Okay, wait, he woke up. Fuck. <laughs> it's kind of funny that he <laughs> falls on his fucking ass. Uh, is he AFKing again? No, wait, there you go. Figured out he can move. Oh shit, I'm surrounded again by Pyromancer. Oh no. What will I do? They have flamethrowers that can't even reach me. Isn't it kind of crazy you don't even have to look at the enemies? Who are <laughs> Never mind. Oh no, two bosses? Oh shit, oh fuck. This really is the Dark Souls of Devil May Cry. Well, even their name is Goatling, so you already know this fight is gonna be Goaten. I was goaded, not gonna lie, that was probably better than any fight I ever did in any game out there. Pretty sure. And I even get a cutscene to commemorate it. So far the gameplay looks very bland and tasty. Nah, dude, are, are we seeing the same game? Come on. Like, are we seeing the same game? Oh fuck, I'm Devil Trigger guy now. Or not, never mind, never mind. I got a magic stone with the heart of a flying bird. Wait, what? But like, every bird is flying. Isn't that the whole point of being a... a... What? Shouldn't it just be a, a soul of a bird? To, what am I missing?
Huh? Alright then. How do I fly now? No, that, that's how you fly. That's some top gear flying right there. You spam the double jump button. Alright, I guess we don't need this one soul. Please, game. There you go. Is this not... Woo! I thought I was supposed to be there. No? Looks like I am. Oh, maybe I need to uh, destroy another evil door. I oh, know, seriously, I'm not getting it. Any bird should be able to fly. Why did the camera switch places now? What? Okay. All right, sure. Sure, John Dante. You do whatever you want, buddy. All right, so far the gameplay has been like top tier, to be honest. Uh, lots of cool new mechanics. Uh, lots of cool new abilities, I think. I'm not sure I'm not using them, but like... Uh, yeah, there's a lot, a lot to desire here. Uh, they certainly managed to deliver and not embarrass the Devil May Cry name, to be fair. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, they have succeeded. Low-key, I, I do like that the levels are open. I do like the fact that I'm free to walk around uh, and maybe find shit. Again, I'm not really doing that accidentally, but I do like the fact that you could hypothetically do that. I am not even sure. Okay. All right, well, this uh, this is happening. Let's uh, let's reach that. The combat is really difficult to play good. You need oh yeah, that is true. Uh, that is true. You really need to know the rhythm of uh, the combat here. You need to get into it. You need to pay attention to everything that you do in this game. Okay, like you have to actually watch out for enemies coming close to you. Standing in place will mean death. Like you will die if you stand in place and spam. Not gonna work. Uh, and again, the controls are actually really, really good. You just have to get used to it, and then you you will be a master in this game. It took me a while. It took me, like, longer than usual. And uh, I, I think I managed to grasp this convoluted combat system we have here. So, I feel like this is really, really preparing me for uh, Devil May Cry 3 and 4 and all that shit. I guess we can jump over there. Oh, shit. Something spawned, I think. Yeah, pretty sure it did. Yo, for how long can you play? Uh, I once had a punishment in uh, in the army uh, where we, we had all of us had to play because one guy was late, right? And when you're in the army, uh, one guy is basically everyone. So uh, the punishment was to, like playing for 30 minutes. I think I managed to hold out for like 25, 27, 27 minutes, and. Uh, but again, it's not like just straight up planking, because that's gonna like kill your arms. You had to switch to the sides every once in a while and all of that, so... Not sure how long I would manage to do it if I had to stay, to stay like in place like this. And not switch to sides. Uh, but I can go fairly long, to be fair. Like, if I plank at the gym and shit, then uh, three minutes are not much of an issue. Three minutes are like the warm-up. Most of the time. Maybe we'll actually get some use to the ball jump here. Nope. Okay. Oh fuck, something spawned, I think. Oh, you're so skeleton in this game that you can't beat the enemies even without- Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh... It took a while to get used to this, but you know. It took a while. Had to grasp, once again, the rhythm of the combat. Uh, figuring out a few systems here and there. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Yo, that is still insane. My core, like my abs, my core abs have always been good for some reason. Oh fuck, we actually have to move. Oh no, they got me. My one weakness. Wait, what if I just jump? No, Dante. I guess we have to, ow. Come on, Dante, we can do it! Oh, he's through the wall, that's why you were shooting. I see, I get it. Don't worry, Dante. We'll get him. We cannot hit him yet, but it's fine. What if I just walk forward? I think they want you to actually run on the walls here. Yeah. 
This could have been a cool mechanic, because you can't actually run in the game, right? But like... If you just had to do like... Maneuvering like that to get to a boss, that would have been cool. Alright, let's get these bastards! Unless they just wanted to fly and double trigger form if they think about it. Well, they don't really know that I have a special weapon called guns. It's, uh, my specialty. Another go- yeah, this game is just, uh, you know. So you're saying it's just built different? Nah! I'm not sure, like, what exactly, uh, made my core stronger, uh, than average. To be fair, because that was always a thing for me. In a way, but then again, I used to walk everywhere before I got a driver license, right? I used to walk everywhere, especially because I live in a small city, in a way. So I used to practically just walk. Uh, no issues whatsoever. I think that really helped, in a way. Okay, what if we just fly over to that guy, you know what? How you doing, buddy? And he's dropping down now. You know what's better than guns? Devil Trigger guns. John Dante. Wait, can I really? I just realized I can hold the button down. I've been spamming it non-stop. I can just do this. I can... Do I have a clip stop? Like, if I tie this around, right here, I can just move the analog stick, and I think we'll be okay for the whole game. Honestly. The sound is cracking. Oh, no. I can't, though. I... I can't lower the... I can't minimize the game. The game will crash if I do that. <laughs> it's only the game sound, right? I can't minimize the game. This game crashes every time I minimize, so we have to finish the mission first if it doesn't, like, fix itself. It doesn't crack for me. Okay, then maybe, like, it's only an, an issue for some people. Oh, shit! Another boss! Wait, I'm ready. Okay. Now that I figure out a new tactic. Can I just get a green orb to instantly recover my vitality if I want to? Okay, this boss does pass the check of standing in place and not uh, shooting, to be fair. So, Peter Treeman now we're says, gonna go. Why is your first instinct always to spam? It happened to you in the first game, too. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? What do you mean just to spam? This is how you play the game. This is a pro tactic right here. I'm testing out the limitations. I'm testing out the game. And I figured out that maybe if I just jump from now on and uh, hold the button down, we'll be okay. Dante, what the fuck are you shooting at? <laughs> It would be kind of funny if the boss could be hurt by the door too. If the hand would like smack him or something. Oh no! Dante! No! He almost got me there. Kind of curious when they played this at the game, how did like... Wh what did they do? Why is there an enemy AFK? Like, more than one apparently. A lot of enemies are AFKing right now. Then if I was the boss, I would be reporting my team ASAP. Okay, one of them realized he could move. And that's all he realized so far. Uh, but we'll let him, like, get to it on his own pace, you know? No pressure, to be honest. Oh, fuck, the enemy's blocking. What am I gonna do? Oh, no, I got bit smack. Oh, fuck, this is gonna be close. Alright, then. Oh, he, he's hugging me again. That's so sweet. What if I go machine gun? What if I wanna, like, just press the machine gun button? Oh, I can't move. I think the enemy just managed to... S <laughs> he's returning my own tactics against me! He 
my own b bloody tactics against me. He realized. I'm gonna do this now. The fuck you gonna do about it? So that was a boss in Devil May Cry 2. And uh, yeah. Yeah, that was uh, certainly one of the uh, bosses we did in this game. I think the door was a little harder, to be honest. It required me to actually press another button. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, slow and steady and all that. Slow and steady and all that. To be fair, uh, the boss did like make me move with the analog stick and I think that's impressive because he's probably the first enemy to make me do that as well so that's something that is something am I supposed to go here nope apparently not am I supposed to go back out because like there's not a door here bro I fucking love the wall running though now that's pretty cool. If only this was more uh, useful for things. Maybe I have to do something with uh, the train here. No, I don't. Because, like, using an item in this game is kind of weird. It's the button you press to dodge. Uh, but most of the time when you try to, you're just gonna dodge. They still have the problem of uh, not really showing you what you could interact with. And that happened in the uh, the first game too. Holding the button shoots slower? Oh yeah, you're right. And the spamming is better. Never mind. Alright, I guess we'll wait for the train patiently. Or not. I'm supposed to go all the way up somehow. I mean, I will be happy if we get some actual music in the game. That would actually make me happy enough. Because if I ask you guys to recall one music track from the first game, will you be able to? I honestly can't, and I'm thinking about it so hard right now, trying to recall. There you go, I finally made it. Never mind. Can I do the uh, wall running here? No, you can't. On certain walls, you're not allowed to wall run, apparently. And you can't unfortunately double jump and then wall run. Like, it's either this or that. Noted. Time to play Linkin Park in the background that we can't. I can't minimize the game. <laughs> I cannot minimize the game. Alright, maybe the item that I got that I already forgot. Key. Uh, sure, I got a key to a huge gate. Which gate though? Okay. Oh, okay. So that door was interactable if you're wondering. This one is not. I guess we have to go back because it's a huge key for the harbor, right? Am I allowed to up? Never mind. Never mind. Wrong button. Oh, let me collect this. Maybe this is interactable? Yes, there you go. Damn, already, already mission finished. Let's go. Pretty sure the game decides on its own what uh, rank to give me, but you know what? I'm cool with that. Still get an S on item used. I think when you use an item, you'll lose some uh, ranking. She has many arms, but only one heart. As she waits for the hunter deep in the water. That is deep. Guidepost for the hunters. <laughs> Peter Treeman says some people gonna mold when you tell them you like DMC2 more than Dark Souls. Yeah, probably. Probably. I mean, I have more fun playing this game, you know? Like, what can you do? I actually have more fun doing Jack Squad and playing the game, like, right here, than anything I did in Dark Souls, to be fair. Fun is really, really important. What can you do? What the fuck am I supposed to do up here? Fall down, apparently. Okay. Oh, shit. Why are the enemies AFKing? How did he miss that one? I was standing- Okay, never mind. That one is roaring right now and he- Why are they AFKing? 
Guys, report Mithra for throwing. Like, come on. Report them all for throwing. Like, holy shit, ruining my games. Literal fucking bots. I, I bet, like, they picked you, Silver, or some shit. But holy shit, what is that? Look at this, they're AFKing. They are jumping down, AFKing, going forward. I'm not even sure what that one just did. Pretty sure he just danced. Was this game play tested? Was this game actually play tested? Did they maybe, like, actually test what, like, they made? I don't believe they needed to, they already knew they, like, they were doing peak, but you know. The plastic chair is a mod, but it would be sick if you that. Oh, it's only a mod? No. Still no song recruit? I can't minimize the game. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, but I can't minimize the game. I can't actually alt-tab out of the game. The game will crash. <laughs> Why are they doing Gojo? <laughs> Throughout the heaven and earth. I alone am the honored one. Can't you minimize the sound for the second? No, no, I can't. Like, the game is running on full screen. There is no borderless option, right? So, every time I click outside of the screen, because it's full, it's gonna minimize automatically. That's just the way a computer works. Like, that's the way a full screen resolution in a monitor works, or in a game. Uh, so every time I click outside, the game minimizes, and then I can't go back in, because the game crashes. So I actually cannot interact with OBS or anything else. Had this issue with Rayman 2. Actually, there's a mod for Rayman 2, I think I showed it before. Uh, because the game was made for Windows fucking XP, and Ubisoft, being the GOATs they are, never really... Never really did anything with that. <laughs> They never really cared enough to fix that, so you have to install a community-made mod uh, to help with your resolution. Like, unfortunately, this is what it is for old games. Or, uh, well, for not very modern ports of old games. Can I get there? Can I get to that blue orb? Can I make some- yeah, there you go. That was a purple orb, by the way. My bad. Maybe there's a mod that like fixes this game too, but I have a feeling this game is gonna be so short that uh would probably be faster to just play through it and finish it. You know. Sonic 3's trailer has dropped and it's fucking sick. It's nice to see that Sonic is succeeding in one media. <laughs> so uh is Keanu Reeves actually the voice actor of Shadow, or was that like a shit post leak from a while back? I have not seen the second movie, by the way, I've only watched the first one. I don't know why I didn't bother with the uh, second one. I guess the first one was alright. Kinda cool to see, but like, did not really feel like I need to go out of my way. What the fuck is this? Alright then, you stay right there. Is it just me or the sword animations are not snappy enough? No, they're fine. It's time. I think the guns animation uh, could be maybe uh, different. How do I do the thing where I shoot at two people at the same time? That was uh, kind of clean. Did I manage? Wait. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Like, come on. There you go. <laughs> Pro gameplay right here. Oh shit. Please tell me Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry 5 will be like this too. Because this is too peak to pass on. Like, come on. Look at this shit. I do like the fact that you can actually like shoot at two people at the same time. That's kind of clean. Unfortunately, that's all you do in the game. So far. They got the most humble celebrity in the most edgy character in Sonic, yeah. But I mean, his voice will fit, I think. 
really hoping they will uh, turn up the rating, Shadow the Hedgehog style, and it'll be like, where's that damn Four of Chaos Emerald again, you know? Give me that peek once more, Sega, come on. You know, that game was only made because, like, people apparently, for some reason, I guess kids, requested Sega to give Shadow a gun. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry, to give Sonic a gun, and they figured, well, it wouldn't make sense if uh, Sonic uses a gun, so we'll give it to Shadow. Fuck it, we'll make a spin-off. <laughs> Where is it? Where is that wonderful... There you go, that's what happened. That's what happened. Never ever listen to your fans. It's all I'm saying. Like, if you're a game company, never listen to your fans. <laughs> this is the result. This game is the result. This shit is the result. Yo, bro, do you re remember the days where, like, they actually gave us manual for games? They don't do that anymore, do they? I don't think they do. What, like, my newest copy of something, of anything, is like a PlayStation 4 game. Does this have a manual? No, it doesn't. Only default controls, dude. Why not? That was, like, part of the cool shit you get. Like, I actually enjoyed reading through these as a kid when I got a new game. It was so fun just going like through this. Most of the time the manual had nothing to do with the game itself, mind you. Like most of the time they gave you like useless fucking information. In Sonic 06's case there's like abilities that are not actually in the game and shit like that in the manual. But uh, I don't know, it was kind of cool seeing, reading through it when you get a new game before you launch it. Maybe that was just me. Okay, uh, Magic Stone. <laughs> we could upgrade again. Not yet. Almost. Almost. How good is it? Like, Shadow the Hedgehog? It's not a good game. It's one of the games ever, but it's not a really good game. Right, we'll just fuck off out. I guess. Oh, fuck. Enemies respawn. Will I have to kill these guys all over again just to go next somewhere? Genshin Impact bad or Dark Souls bad? Like... The problem with, uh... As a kid, I, I loved it. Like, I, I... Well, didn't love it. I enjoyed playing it through the game, though, because it has a cool system, in my opinion, or... A cool system for its time. Where you had choices in the game, right? And you get a different ending and stage in stages based on your alliance. So, like in stage one, you could either help Sonic, you could either help help the main antagonist, or you could help, or, or you could be natural and not help anyone and do whatever you want in a way, right? And depending on your choice, you would I either go up or down uh, when you complete a level. And by up or down, I mean like there's like a list of levels and. If you go up, it's a separate level. If you go down, it's a separate level. And if you go straight, which is neutral, it's a separate level. And I will always enjoy that sort of thing in the game, because as a kid, I really enjoyed like mixing things up, trying to see uh, what ending will I get if I do these combinations, and if I do that, and if I reach there, and what if I complete this stage this way, and then I do the other thing this way. The problem is... <laughs> Some stages are fucking a pile, pile of dog shit, okay? Some stages are just horribly bad. Do I need to use this somehow? Yeah, there you go. What's the Vasani game in my opinion? Uh, are we talking 2D games or 3D games? Because I honestly consider them different. Their design is different, their appeal is different. Like, both are with the title Sonic, but come on, they're different. If I had to choose the best 3D game, it would probably be Generations, I think. The most consistent Sony game out there. Though I do think my uh, favorite boost formula is Unleashed. The problem is Unleashed you have the Warhog too, so, you know. If I had to choose a 2D game, it would be 3 and Knuckles, Nostalgia alone, but like, Mania is pretty fucking close. Mania is like an amazing game. 2D better. I mean, again, depends on the mood. Sometimes you feel like you want to play a fast-paced 3D game. Sometimes you want to play a 2D game. I don't I don't feel like there's much reason to compare the two, you know? Okay, they want me to keep the devil 
trigger guy for him because I'm faster this way, right? Yeah, there you go. Dante from the oh fuck! Imagine like this thing running towards you in <laughs> the middle of the night. <laughs> hey, come on, Dante from Devil Nick Right. No, there you go. He's so cool. Almost have 10k. We almost have enough orbs to make the guns more OP. Why not? Why not? I mean, just enjoy both worlds, you know? Play the 2D games and the 3D games or something. Oh, fuck. A new boss. Oh, no. How did the boss already lose so much HP? What's happening? Wait, am I actually doing damage to the boss? I don't think I am. Oh, will they actually make me use the sword? Will they? No, that's still not doing any damage. You probably have to find something else to lock onto. Maybe I have to, like, just shoot the bitch in the middle. Alright, bitch. Alright, Dante. Wrong target. Ooh, ma maybe that's how they make the game harder. Wait. Maybe they'll make the game harder by, like, not letting, giving me the option to shoot the boss. Oh, shit. I think they figured that out. Never mind. To be fair, standing here is a problem because you, the gas hits you as you go, but uh... You have to like... Uh, no. Target the right bitch. There you go. No, you're not targeting the bitch. Come on, Dante from Devil May Cry. You should be better than this. Wait, didn't I have the... Oh yeah, this one. Nah. Actually, I'm not sure how the game treats it when you die, so let's not risk it. Not in this piece of media. Like, I think there's a way to destroy the tentacles, but, uh... Or make them fuck off somehow. Because you probably need to do that if you want to shoot the boss. But then again, standing right there and just spamming kind of works. Oh, there is... They have actual health! They do have actual health, holy shit! But why would I need to shoot anything else? Oh, they just respawn them out. They just respawn anyways. Well, we tried Dante from Devil May Cry, I guess we'll have to do this. Until it dies. Eventually. Maybe. Why did you switch a target? Yeah. This is gameplay. Which game is better than, uh, guys, Garfield card or DMC2 or... Bu okay, come on. We all know Bun Bun is, like, the pinnacle of the pinnacles, right? The goat of the goats, as it was once called by a very wise man. Can you shoot the thing, Dante? Can you actually target what I'm telling you to target? Surely if I just do this... Like, if I just keep holding the button, that should be only targeting her right now. I think. What if we do a double jump, but we'll wait for him to reach the correct place and then we fall slowly? Yeah, there you go. So once we actually lock her down, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> no, Dante! Why? They switched the target. Well, have to destroy one of them, uh, shits now. Or wait, I can actually go... Dante may cry mode! Where Dante's gonna cry! Now we jump back. Oh no, we cancel it again. Why, Dante? Problem with this, we just have to wait now. Are you guys hearing any music? I'm honestly not hearing any fucking music in this game. I'm hearing noise. Can you target? Yes! Now we just jump back because we got her and that's it. I mean, if we can actually shoot her, that is. There you go. So now all we need to do is jump, wait like a second and then just keep doing it. And we, <laughs> and we win the fight. Yeah. That's gameplay. Alright.
right? That is indeed gameplay. Yeah. We're going places. Isn't this game considered? Yeah, it is. It's considered to be uh, not a very good Devil May Cry game. It's considered to be, in general, just a game. And I can see why, I think. I'm beginning to understand why as I'm playing through this. But again, I was always uh, the kind of guy who plays, who, who plays like games in release order. So if I want to actually play the newest game, which is Devil May Cry 5, I want to finish 1 to 4 first. Already finished 1. And now we'll be going through uh, this peak. And I'm sure this will only make everyone involved appreciate Devil May Cry 3 more. I'm hoping it will make me appreciate Devil May Cry 3. Imagine if we think this game is better than 3. Oh my fucking god, people would fucking lose it. I mean, there's already so many salty people on like, on the VOD channel of, of all things. <laughs> on the Sekiro and uh, Stellar Blade video. Which I find amusing enough, to be honest. <laughs> I didn't really expect people to be like this buttered over it, but like, yeah, sure. To each their own and all that. I, I knew I would get like some amount of uh, people being pissed off, because like, uh, I, I dared speak uh, badly of From Software and not like something they did. I already expected there to be some people uh, to not respond kindly to- No, he lost the targeting because of this. Dante! Dante may cry, why would you do this? Alright Dante, you have to get close. Uh, there you go, buddy. There you go, you got him. You got him, my man. You got him back. Well, it is what it is, what can you do? Three is, uh... No! Oh wait, he didn't lose the target, let's go! He's just shooting the floor for some reason, but we'll take it. Sitting here, I'm really sad. Really? That video is really long. People won't have power to sit through. Oh yeah, most of the people who commented on that one are... <laughs> honestly, I don't think most of them actually watched the video. Some of them actually did, and uh, some of them actually, like, responded in kind to it, which I appreciate. I, I like hearing, like, people's thoughts and opinions and shit. I, like, I'm glad for that, but a lot of other people just, like, saw the title and they're like, Nah, you're wrong, because I said so, and, uh... They're not actually watching anything. And again, that's to be expected. I don't really care. <laughs> to be honest. I, uh, I've been on the internet long enough to know that uh, there's no reason to take anything too hard. It is what it is. It's to be expected. Now we're playing peak instead, so what can you do? And I only, only really made that rant to like actually give you guys and myself some sort of closure about the game because I've been comparing it a lot to Stellar Blade as we played. Other people were comparing it to before when I played Stellar Blade. Uh, some people actually compared it as I was playing Sekiro. Some people went, oh you're gonna fucking love it because you like Stellar Blade and it's like an upgrade and shit. So yeah, I felt like that was a nice way to put the saga behind. Why not? Articulating myself as best as I can on an hour and 30 minutes long video. It's like if you say this is better than Sekiro, nah, come on. <laughs> look, look at what I'm fucking doing. Then again, <laughs> then again, playing Sekiro, I did go like this all the time, right? That's the only thing I did pretty much playing that game, so, uh. But nah, in Sekiro, at least you had to, like, maybe think a little more. This one is just a meme at this point, like, come on. This took like seven minutes, I think. Me just jumping and pressing X and that's it. That's all I did here. I got a bike! <laughs> <laughs> Can I jump down there? Nah. Alright. I got... <laughs> I got a shotgun. With a bike. Cause why not? I don't think that's according to speed limit. Oh shit, he's so cool. 
Next boss is Beak, by the way. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Alright. Save. This is certainly one of the games I've ever played, I'll admit. Mission 5. How many missions are there? <laughs> 23 again? Uh, we need to be here a while or so. I, I don't think we even need the shotgun, to be honest. The guns are too good. The guns are too fucking good. Why would I need anything else? That is true. Still Limit is, like, highly overrated when you're John Dante May Cry. You don't really need anything else. Oh, fuck. Wait, what happened to my bike? Is that a wolf? The <laughs> <laughs> Why did the wolf AFK? Why did bro just AFK midway there? Well, I hope you missed me g jumping up and pressing the X button, because guess what's gonna happen again? Yeah, that's gameplay. Oh fuck, he actually hit me. Oh no. Anyways. So we're back to doing the good old-fashioned tactic of uh, jumping and shooting. Once in a while they're gonna hit you, but it is what it is. Yeah. Play this game, guys. What can I tell you? Just play this game. You'll know, uh, you'll just appreciate how big this is. And technically, I guess I don't have to use the guns, but like, why would I use anything else, you know? Why would I try anything else? If it ain't broke, you don't fix it. This is why you do playtesting, people. Poor Frecky, though. What the fuck calls a dog Frecky? Or a wolf? Frecky? Really? Don't you just, like, write wolf? Wolf 1, wolf 2? Yeah. That's a something. Usually I would try to explain my tactic and what I'm doing, but like I'm, I'm pressing the A button and then I'm pressing the X button over and over again and like... Now this dude probably heard about my uh, fighting style and he's scared. To be fair, I would be too. Song request? I, I can't. I cannot minimize the game. <laughs> I can't minimize the game and click on it. I told you guys, I, I actually can't like redeem any- I cannot click it. I can't click anything. If I click on anything, the game crashes. If I click on anything outside of the screen, the game crashes. I told you! I already told you before! The game will crash the second I click on anything! I can't do any song request, I can't interact with anything outside of the game. Because the game will crash. It's an old game. That's to be expected. I'm kind of surprised it didn't happen with the first game, to be honest. I don't know why it happens in this one. I was about to say at least the enemies are not getting stun locked, but then the enemy just got stun locked by me shooting, so clearly that was wrong. Well, he is the goat. That's his name, Blood Goat. So, you know, expected that to happen too. I cannot blame the goat for being a goat. Another blood goat. Oh shit, two more. Well, I'm ready. Being the devil may cry that I am. Will it be finally time for Final Fantasy IX? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Again, you need to be in the mood for an RPG game, right? To play it properly. I think we'd all agree with that. So if I'm in the mood for an RPG game after playing all the action games, then sure. Guys. Devil May Cry, May Cry 1 walked, so this game could run. We all need to remember that. We all need to remember that. God played the game, this game, and since it was so good, he cried. Now, if the devil played this game, Devil May Cry 2. That's way too deep for, uh, for this game. <laughs> Well, this is level design for sure. All this, just do up. Oh, there you go. 
There you go, there's a store right there that we don't even need. What happens if you die in this game? Probably the yellow orb thingy, right? Probably brought that back. Gotham looking sick. <laughs> I'm willing to bet they brought like the yellow orb system. I think it's the same as before. Because, you know, that shit was so good in the first one. Why not do it again? Here's hoping they uh, won't bring it back for the third game. I, I expect the third game to actually be good. That's the thing. I actually expect the third game to be insanely good. That's my expectation so far, but uh, who knows. It is, here's fucking hoping. Am I supposed to go there? Or not? Probably not, no. Like, beginning with the third game, my expectations are actually fairly high for it to be like a good game. And on all that in titles, you know? Like, I'm expecting it to have good combat, I'm expecting to have good music, I'm expecting to have good characters. I don't know if I'm expecting a good I'm expecting a story, okay? We'll begin with a story, it doesn't have to be a good story, we'll begin with a story. I'm expecting to not be insanely confused by the ending. I see that this game, like the one before, have uh, managed to create like three models of enemies and reuse them over and over again. Especially the boss, right here, for some reason, yeah. We, well, I, I cannot blame them. The last time we fought this guy it was like 10 minutes ago, so it makes sense. They would want to bring him back again with more health this time around. It's been a while. We probably don't even remember him. If my memory was, wasn't like so good, I probably would have forgotten to. They really decided to bring like a fuck ton more health. What is that? Alright, dodging is not really helpful. I decided to test that one out, just to see, but like, you should just jump. Why do you have so much fucking health? Look at this shit! <laughs> he still has... <laughs> there you go. So like before, uh, you press devil trigger and you spam one button and you win. It's to show you how far you've gone since you first- Yeah, yeah, like, I can actually see the character development that happened, the player development that happened. I can tell I got better with my skills and usage of them. I cannot blame them for uh, choosing such a peak design. How long is this game again? Because you have two characters you could play as. And I have a feeling the two characters are the fucking same. Like, Lucia and Dante. So far, Dante has spoke like two times, mind you. What is... Uh, I'm fighting a tank. Infested tank. I'm fighting an infested tank. Alright. The infested tank has gone AFK for a little bit. The infested tank is shooting the voices right now. The infested tank is still shooting the voices right now. Okay, the infested tank realized. Never mind, the infested tank is looking to the side. Okay, there you go, we actually figured out I am right here. Never mind, he forgot. He forgot, that's okay, that happens. And he's shooting the voices once again. I'm pretty sure he's shooting a- yeah, he is shooting a wall. The tank is shooting a wall. I repeat, the tank is shooting a wall right now. It's five hours, I'm pretty sure. Damn. Oh, wait. Wait, the tank realized. Is there another tank shooting at me from far away there? Probably is. Something is also sh also shooting. Okay, the tank is trying its best. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit, they work together. Oh, fuck. They planned it! They actually planned it! There you go! See, when you try, you succeed, Tank. I believe in you. But I have the Devil Trigger guy form! Yeah. Oh, shit. Actually got him, alright. Next! Let's do this! 
I could not even see him before. It's so dark in here. Okay. Let's go, tank guy. This boss was so good, they had to give me two of them at the same time. I, I do not blame them, to be honest. This is the definition of pick design. I'm pretty sure... Wait. Can he hit me from here? Yeah, I, I just realized. The tank is like... <laughs> the trunk. <laughs> yeah! Alright then. I, uh... <laughs> Yeah. I. But this shit just has a lot of hope. It's so realistic. <laughs> they really uh wanted to be real with this game. Yeah. It's certainly part of what they were going for in the design of the tank. Right. I could like turn on my TV. Launch on the PlayStation and literally play something else at the same time. I could continue playing Final Fantasy XIV while I'm doing this because all I need to do. What if I put my phone over the Xbox and will that work? Will that be heavy enough? No, not really. It's gonna pause the game though. Let me figure something out here. Because again, if I take the flyer over here and I actually like close it down on the X button hard enough. Almost. If I had some tape, if I actually had some tape, that would be enough. Put, I can put any- you know what, we're gonna do it in real time, fuck it. Can you guys see it? Oh, we won! Why is the music still playing though? Let me pause the subway surface. I think there's another one. There's another one. <laughs> there's another one. Oh shit, another tank. Alright. Let's get our tactic ready in here. Can you guys see it? I'm not even sure what my high score is in here, to be honest. I've had this installed like for years upon years. I have so many characters for this room. So much money in this game. It's just fun, you know? There's hoping you can actually see it properly. But I, I need to bring tape for next time if uh, I don't finish the game in one sitting. Just to, like actually show you this properly. up the volume because if we still this is not how I saw my day going to be honest fuck do I use a key? Nah. look at my characters I'll do a showcase the whole characters here like again I have this game I've had this game for so long, it's unreal, okay? Like, it's unreal just how long I have this game on. <laughs> I seriously did not see my day going like this. Uh, there you go. I have so many characters in this fucking game. Because I, I just own it for such a long time. I have 14 million bucks in this game, okay? This is just how long I have this game for. Pretty sure I still have Flappy Bird installed as well. I was so good at that. Okay, actually not on this phone. Never mind then. Not on this phone. How's the tank doing? Oh shit, not yet. Not yet. Well, 
<laughs> Devil May ADHD, sure. Yeah, I'm doing a boss fight in case that wasn't obvious. Where, where did he even look at? Wait, I just realized. <laughs> he wasn't even looking this way. Yeah. Phew. Oh, that was hard. Shit. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. Oh shit, I got my full health back after all of that effort that I had to put in. It, put in. But there's a phase 3 by the way. <laughs> what? Oh, never mind, that's another boss fight. The tank will be back? Oh shit. Tank may cry three? I did not expect that. But uh, the revenge of tank shall happen once again. Because fighting bro three times apparently wasn't enough. Good job, Dante. We did it. We got through that one enemy three times. And then we jumped all the way back down. To the same place as before. Am I not supposed to go up? Maybe I'm supposed to go here. To the parking lot. Maybe I left my bike here. No, I didn't. Just collectibles. I mean, I, I like collectibles in games. They're just I don't feel like there's any need to collect anything in this game. <laughs> I actually don't feel the need to collect anything. Bro, what is this? What am I going through? I honestly did not expect the game to be like this. Like, I, I expected it to just be clunky and bad or something, not to be, yeah, this, whatever this is, that, I, I'm not even sure I can describe this as a game. Okay, where are we going here? Am I doing this? Nope. Oh yeah, I am. Let's go. Oh, this has the feeling of time. No, that's the exact same fucking place. I suppose I need to do this and jump the other way around somehow is there anything here yeah there you go so you didn't wait does that mean I didn't have to fight the tank at all because you can just jump over th you didn't even have <laughs> Oh no, th this is Pico, alright? This is a game. <laughs> I got a magic stone with the heart of a vigorous battle god. Yeah. W was I supposed to use this against the tank, maybe? Yes, we, we're getting out. Going back for vengeance against something, I don't know what. Dante actually had one line of dialogue the whole game. I want to enjoy the character more, dude. I want to like like the character actually, but so far he has no character. Aside from that, like the last 30 minutes of the game, of the first one, th that was indeed something, all right. Maybe I need to go here somewhere. Yeah. Oh fuck, that's a helicopter. Oh shit, is this a boss fight? <laughs> oh yeah, baby. I'm ready. I like how in the cutscene itself, Dante is pulling up a gun as well. Oh shit, Dante, you're so cool. Remember, you can't look at the explosion though, because cool guys don't actually look at explosions. Just keep that in mind. Don't worry, Chopper, I'll kill. Chopper. Good job. Okay. Why is the music still playing? Was I supposed to be chased by the helicopter? Was I not supposed to kill it? What 
is happening? What is this? There's no one here. Oh, maybe now. Oh shit, okay. Oh no. It's back with vengeance. But where? From where will it strike? Now that's a good question. It's from like from where will it actually strike? Where is it? Did the enemy forget to spawn in? I'm beginning to think the enemy forgot to spawn. Like, no joke, I I'm beginning to think the enemy forgot to spawn or something. Use the door! You're not supposed to use the door, Dante. You don't fuck. Oh, it's back. Wait, it's back? It's somewhere. I think it's down there. By accident. Took it a little while. Oh, there you go, it's back. Oh shit. And now we can't actually hide under it. Now the fight will actually begin. Now we fight for glory. This is when the fight will actually start. Pretty sure the railings accidentally blocked the helicopter. I know I can just move on, but I figured why not? Let's do this fight. The helicopter is not even looking at me right now. Okay, wait. If it, I think it figured it out. Okay, not yet. Wait, give it a second here. There you No. That was close, buddy. Really close. Okay, you're starting. Yeah, a little more. A little more. No. 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 Yeah, okay, there you go. You actually hit me with something. I'll give you that. Good job, bro. Alright, moving on. Moving on. It's back with vengeance. But there's a helicopter landing pad there. The game wants me to go there. Now what do I do? I killed a helicopter like two times already, okay. We jumped on the roof. And now I killed a helicopter for some reason. I'm not even sure what is happening anymore. Never mind. I just move on with my- can I just ignore the boss? Oh, it's supposed to be a chase sequence. Yeah, that took me a while to realize what they were going for here, to be honest. <laughs> that took me a little while, uh, but I get the intention game. Kill the Puya. It's okay, the helicopter doesn't know. It's gonna, gonna forget him here. It's fine. Can I jump up? Yeah, there you go. Alright, even the birds kind of forgot him here. But why not? Back to the roof. There's no one chasing you, Dante. You can actually just walk if you want to, I'm just saying. Let's go. What a jump. I need to get up there. I guess not from here, though. That was kind of misleading, wasn't it? No, it is from there. Never mind. I think. Devil May Cry. No, okay. Come on, John Dante. We can do it. There you go. Guys, this is so epic. Okay, wait. I need to try and jump up somehow. Bird, help me. Help me, bird. Almost. Oh, I'm not even shooting the bird. We'll just do this. Where is the fucking helicopter? I have a feeling the helicopter legit forgot he was supposed to chase me. That happens sometimes. Okay, wait. My one worst enemy in games. Or, uh, Devil May Cry games. Platforming. Now this is a battle. Pretty sure they'll make, uh, songs about this particular section in future games. Oh, almost, Dante. Almost. You almost got it, buddy. There you go. There we go. Oh shit, it's back. Now we fight. Yeah, now we actually fight. Now you have actual health bars. Or, well, actually anything. Can I jump up here? 
And the helicopter is not even shooting at me. Not even looking at me right now. I'm just going right under you. Alright. Yeah. Oh, it has homing missiles. Oh, shit. It's so smart. Just a little more, buddy, and you'll get it. This is longer than me taking a shit. <laughs> I cannot even see the helicopter. Maybe I'll jump up there. No, Dante from Devil May Cry. Ow. No! <laughs> get up. Get up, Dante. Yes. Now we stand in place and we hold a button as was in originally intended. Yeah, this one's gonna be tanky. We're gonna be here a while. Guys, where's the fucking boss? <laughs> oh, he's back. He's back. I see him. And he shot two missiles into the ground immediately. Dante's not even shooting him right now. I'll go back a little bit. Yeah. Alright. Oh shit, not the myth. Oh, okay, never mind. Shot them into the ground again. Should I just go, like, right there? Maybe be under him? And he just fucked off to other space. <laughs> Bro is not even on the same planet anymore. Oh, there you go, he's back. And he shot the missiles into the ground again. And he's shooting the missiles off the building again. Okay. Alright. I actually had to dodge this time around. Let's go. We're getting somewhere. Okay. Alright. Oh shit. What a dodge. Don't worry. <laughs> The game told us not to worry. Okay. Let's try to attack him with a sword. Might do more damage. Why would I move? Look at this. Why would I move? <laughs> I kind of forgot I even have a sword. I'm not gonna lie. I low-key forgot I have a sword. In this game. <laughs> Devil May Cry form! What a fight. What a fight. This what the, the helicopter just killed me. Oh, never mind. Apparently I jumped. What a fight. Holy shit. That was one of the fights I ever did in my life. What a game. We need to save it so we uh, don't go through that peak ever again. Next mission. Mission 6. It's extremely Bonsai underscore Sai says the infested chopper boss is the single greatest boss in all of video gaming. The infestation is a manifesto of our society and the zombie-like enthusiasm we've taken our militarism, which is a great moral leap backwards. It spreads to the masses, and the military continues to kill. In that sense, the infested chopper boss fight is something more. You fight it once and it takes forever to beat. This mimics the reality of persuading a military enthusiast in real life. It takes. I could not put that any better. I could finally someone appreciates this game for what it's supposed to be. Finally, someone actually like realizes just what this game is all about and the message that it's giving society as a whole. Can you upgrade your guns? Not yet. I need like uh, 30k, I think, for the next upgrade. I'm saving. Don't worry. I'm saving for it. Clearly the best weapon in the game. Oh shit. Chaos. That could actually be a cool boss in the game, you know? If you actually had to traverse through the city to get to it do some damage, climb it, kind of like uh, God of War 3 Kronos boss, like that shit was insanely good. Uh, but I don't think we're gonna get that here, to be honest. 
Yeah. We got something else. Yeah. Alright then. I wanna just spam it so it's a little quicker. Did I just stay in place and that still missed? Pretty sure it's only doing one attack. Watch it hit us. Wait, okay, never mind. Do I do the jumping tactic and that's it? Well, no, something's hitting me. Wait, what was that? Oh, the bats! Oh shit, I could not even see them! Did anyone actually see the bats here? <laughs> I'm shooting something behind the stone. Bro, I honestly couldn't even see them in here. Okay, we just need to move them and ignore them completely. As any other mechanic in this game. Just jump and shoot again? No, I, I have to like... <gasps> Maybe it's time for the sword! Oh shit! Oh, guys! Finally! I had to use the sword! For something! Enough sword! I, I think we're all sick of the sword! Back to guns! Alright! Slowly getting there! There we go! What the fuck is this, this guy name? <laughs> Mephastoris. Mephastoris. Well, Mephastoris. Certainly are one of the Devil May Cry fights I had to do. Phase 2. It's the spider, isn't it? They just brought back the spider from the first game. Pretty sure that's what they did. <laughs> no, it's a flying head. Oh shit. Wow, there's so much, so much mechanics here I need to like keep in mind as I play for this boss, it's kind of unreal. It might even be a little overwhelming for a first time player. The amount of shit I have to do here to be safe. I can just AFK right here, can I? Yeah, could AFK that attack, noted. Oh shit, lasers! All right then, enough lasers. And now we AFK or not? Oh shit, oh shit. What a fight, what a dodge. I'm willing to bet no one here in chat ever, ever experienced something so good, ever. Like I'm willing to bet you've never seen something so great. Did you now? Like, I think this boss is already an improvement, because I, I don't just AFK. I use like two whole buttons at the same time, I think that's impressive. Like, I, I do think it's impressive and we should like, be thankful uh, that someone came into the, like, the development team and was like, Wait guys, I have an idea, let's do something a little different. For example, right now I have to push the analog stick right and then I just keep pushing right. Even now, for this attack, it's all I'm doing. And now when I'm ready, I'm gonna press this button and I'm gonna hold down uh, the X button. Yeah. Yeah, this is... This is something. To be fair, I, you could die in this one. Like, if you actually stay in place, I suppose. And the beams that he's shooting is actually like, could hit you, but I think you need to just jump and get out of the way like that. <laughs> and that's it. Oh yeah, still, you, you can get hit in the fight. It's possible. Now you just jump off to the side, try to, before you, uh, you get hit, I guess. You can do this too, you just finish the fight immediately if you don't feel like doing anything else. So that's always a thing. Did bro seriously despawn to die? That's the way he went. He just despawned. Not a helicopter, but I'm John Dante. Is he doing any other thing in this game aside from... Like, is he actually doing anything else in this game? 
the cool Dante guy from John Devil May Cry? Is he actually gonna, like, do anything? Mission 7, a meeting of power shall end in conflict. Guidepost for the Hunters, Chapter 7, Klaus 1. That's so cool. Okay, we need like 20k more. Well, we'll get there. Mission start. Anyone follows the story so far, because uh, things do happen, for sure. Things indeed happened. A cool devil may cry from John. I'm playing Metal Gear Solid now. How many missions does this game have? Anyone actually knows the exact number? Because uh, I'm hoping not more than 15, to be honest. I mean, uh, but just the limit to how much peak I can experience in one sitting, you know? Yeah. Back to this, alright. Why are the enemies Peter Trima just says I am gonna ask, are we there yet like an annoying child in the car every few minutes? <laughs> I really need to know how many missions this game has to uh, save my sanity somehow. If anyone knows, Google says it has 13 with Dante. Don't tell me I need to play as the other chick too in this game. But if it only has 13, we're about to finish. This is mission 7. So like, we're already halfway there, even more than halfway. Or you could say exactly halfway, there's no mission 6.5, so, you know, it is what it is. I don't think you have to. Question is if it's the exact same thing or not. Because you guys said every single Devil May Cry game is like this, where you have more than one character, but like the missions are the same. Right? And I, I think that's like such a major L. Honestly. If there's no actual differences, maybe in the story or I don't know anything else, kind of unlucky. If it's only the first and final cutscene that, that are like different. Oh, 18 mission with Dante. Okay, yeah, makes more sense. Dante would have more missions than the other girl. I guess that means the story is different for that one. That's neat, isn't it? The sooner we get to three, the better. Yeah, this is too peak. I agree. This is maybe too peak. This is too peak for any mortal to behold. This is so peak. I'm already tired of it. That's just how peak this is. I cannot use that door I came from, though, did I? Yeah. Cool Dante jump. Alright then. The cool Dante jumped a little too much, but uh. Right, there's something hidden here for the cool Dante guy. You can't pass there. Okay. Let's jump on the vent. Let's jump on the vent. Let's jump on the. Let's slide on the vent. There you go. This game is like a gym workout, is it? A gym workout is actually fun though. <laughs> I did chest yesterday, it was wonderful. It's a good time. I don't just stand in place and uh, do this. Like, this is combat. The amount of times we killed enemies before even seeing them is unreal. Think about it. I'm pretty sure I killed more enemies not seeing them on screen than, uh... Yeah. Well, that didn't work. Do I jump down? Fuck it, I jump down. We ballin'. I guess I jump on the vent. Or maybe up there. Let's go, cool Dante guy. We are not jumping out there. Yeah, I guess I do need to go on the vent. Oh shit, another enemy. I 
guess that works too. Oh, we've seen the corpse fall, that's something. Managed to see one enemy there. Had leg day today, raised the amount of squat. I had leg day uh, on Saturday and I wanted to fucking kill myself. So business as usual, to be honest. Bro, when I find the guy who invented, invented leg day, holy shit. Why can't we have chicken legs? Why is that not, like, considered to be cool? Society would be so much better. Can I jump on the thing? Holy shit, Dante, please. Dante from Devil May Cry, I beg you. Dante, please. Dante, the sooner this ends, we're all going home. Nope, come on, Dante. Oh, no, nah, come on. You're supposed to be on this thing, I think. No, okay, they respond again, I think. All right. Gameplay. Gameplay. We're all having fun. Yeah. All right. Kind of curious, you, you know like for a fact there's some guy out there who says Devil May Cry is his, like the second game is his favorite game of all time, right? We all know that, that somewhere out there someone is like, yeah, this game is my favorite game of all time. This is the best game I've ever played. There's bound to be, okay, we just jumped down apparently, my bad. Now we're actually playing Metal Gear Solid, I was kidding when I said it. Alright, Snake, let's do this, never mind. We're not doing this anymore. Thought the camera angle wanted to uh, tell me something. But yeah, it's because of childhood nostalgia. Maybe due to childhood to like nostalgia alone, you'd be like, oh yeah, I like this game. But uh, yeah, there's not much to it, let's be honest here. The fact that you can just stay in place and shoot and get away with uh, most scenarios in the game is kind of unreal, isn't it? Loki unreal. Do I go in here? Whatever make th makes this end sooner, to be honest. What did that too? Oh shit. My item, I want that. Devil May Cry guy moving out. For me that game is Sonic Heroes. Yeah, I also like Sonic Heroes on uh, Sonic and uh, Amy to be honest. I think I've had my issue with, uh, I always had my issue with Team Dark in that game. To be fair. Because their levels can kind of like drag on and on and on. Team Chaotix, I don't even want to talk about that. Like, that could just be like an unfun experience. But overall, I always enjoy the game when I play it one way or another. You don't just stay in place <laughs> and spam one thing. That's a game that has its issues for sure, but it's not a bad game in my opinion. This one is just like... This is what I do during combat. Ouch. And then something explodes on my ass. Like, this is what you do during combat. We are in mission 7. We beat like 5 bosses. <laughs> By standing in place. And shooting. Yeah. There you go. We probably have just to get close to one of those. Yeah, I think it just gets close and they explode or some shit. Oh, look at this. The enemy, the AI is AFK most of the time. When it finally comes over to you, just stun lock it like this and it's over. Like, yeah. There you go. It is a huge stretch to say that game was made for kids, which Sonic Heroes, I mean it is. 
first and foremost, Sonic games have always been made for a younger audience in mind. And when they try not to do that, you, you like make something that looks like Sonic 06 or uh, Sonic uh, like Shadow the Hedgehog and it's always so fucking dumb and stupid. No, the MC2? Oh yeah. No, the MC2 was not made for kids for sure. I don't feel like the target audience for these games would be kids. Come on. It's like saying God of War was made for kids. That's just not true. Just because people played those games as kids. It's like people playing Grand Theft Auto V, right? As kids. Like, bro, come on. The target audience is not kids. I don't get why you're crying so much about the gameplay. There's expansions and gunshot. Oh yeah, true, true, true. Now that is correct. What more could you want when you think about it? That should be enough for uh, for any game out there, right? Oh, platforming! Alright. Big. Yay. Moving on. I'm just like opening random fucking doors, walking around. There was an item I could collect, right? But I just kind of like, nah, <laughs> hide when. I'm just like sliding to wherever I go now. See, like, we're back to pro combat. Yeah. I don't even have to move around, I just realized he's gonna do that by himself. A child would love to see Kratos beating for sight into death. <laughs> yeah. Bro, people who played God of War as kids are probably fucking traumatized by the shit they've done. Or uh, either they just didn't really understand what they were doing. What do you mean? Which child won't love to see Kratos sacrificing a soldier begging? Yeah, right? Like, doing it yourself was so fun. I mean, forget sacrificing a soldier, that's one thing. It was so fun to sacrifice an innocent woman that was like a slave to a god and was probably raped all day long just for you like to use her as a door handle that's really fun as a kid I know I would have enjoyed that activity a lot who wouldn't no seriously that part is probably the most traumatizing shit you do in God of War yeah, you left, came back, and we're still in peak, don't worry. Nothing changed. Peak will always be peak. I'm now, like, killing a goat. I'm killing the goat once again. Look at this. I can sh <laughs> shoot both of them at the same time. Why wouldn't I? And now I can't shoot both of them at the same time for some reason. Dante is a man of his own. Like, he is... He decides what he wants to do and how he wants to do it, okay? I'm not one to tell him anything. That's See what happens when you're here says Dante. literally all they had to do to make the combat better is giving you limited ammo. Or, uh, make the sword feel good. I don't know, you don't really feel the impact here. Last game, every time I hit something, there was like that satisfying impact, right? But right here, I don't really feel that at all. I mean, the animation's fine, but when you hit an enemy, it doesn't really feel like I hit an enemy with a sword. In Devil May Cry 1, when I punched something with, like, the Ifrit Gunther, that shit felt so good. Compared to this. It wasn't perfect by any means necessary, but it just felt good to punch things and, like, bam. You felt the impact every time you did that. Again, player feedback is really important, right? That was one of my most, if not the most, major issue I had with uh, Sekiro. Because I felt like there was not really an impact or feedback when I parry or when I attack things, etc, etc. It just didn't really feel good to me. And part of why I gave Stellar Blade so much like compliments, because it, it felt really good in that game to literally hit or dodge or do anything. I still don't understand if the DMC1 is good or mid. It's mid. <laughs> If I had to say, it's not a game I'm planning to ever coming back to. The controls in that game are horrible. The camera is a major fucking issue. Like, it has a lot of problems. A lot of problems. But when you can, like, compliment something, why not do it, you know? I 
when there's something to compliment, I should compliment it. And when there's something to uh, hate on, I should hate on it, you know? Yeah, seriously, who's microwaving something in this room? Like, come on. Take your food out. I'll break the boxes. Hey, I can't turn around for something. There you go. Dante style. This cannot be opened while moving. This cannot be opened while move. Am I still moving? What does that even mean? Like, the train is moving? Do I need to wait? I actually had to wait. This cannot be. Oh, I'm not. I'm not moving anymore. There you go. I pray the MC5 will be like Metal Gear Rising for you. Oh, I'm. I'm fucking hoping. At least I'll, I'll know. Like I have two tracks in that game that I'll absolutely love, which is Devil Trigger and uh, Bury the Light. At least we have two fucking go to tracks in that game, right? That's always something. Well, back to pro gameplay. Yeah. This is gameplay, alright. Well, we made it to the top. I'm really hoping, like, in future games, they bring back the, uh... Like the double jump, the fact that I can run on walls, wall jumping and shit, like that's cool. If the game actually utilizes these things as you play, like that would be really cool. Yeah, I don't like Screamer. I tried listening to like the metal song in DMC5 a while back and bro, that was horrible for me, like uh couldn't really get into it at all. I was a, no. <laughs> the challenger shall rise while the king obeys. Guidepost for hunters, chapter seven, clause nine. Mission eight. I think we'll get to like mission 10 and stop for today or something, cause holy shit, that takes a lot out of me. <laughs> and more peak will continue on Friday when we finish it once again. Maybe the ending will deliver. Maybe the ending will be the greatest of all time. Am I gonna play metaphor? Maybe, I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know. Maybe another time. I'm not really planning on it right now. I feel sorry for you, Itai. So many peak songs you can't enjoy. I mean, that goes for every music taste you don't like, though. Is that fucking Ifrit? I would put fight and Find the Flame if I could. Wait, I have an idea. Wait, I'm big brain. I'm big brain. I'm big brain. Because, come on, we all know this music is gonna be total shite, right? No arguments here whatsoever, so let me cook. Let me cook. So the good thing about Spotify, if I'm not wrong, is that I can control it... I can control it through Spotify. Like, through my phone. I'm pretty sure. So if I go, for example, right here. Let's see if that works. If I just press play on a song. And I go and I tell it connect to my device. We can all hear it. I'm hearing it, right? The big brain happened. So if I go here and I go to one of the only songs from Final Fantasy 16 that are on Spotify for some reason. And I do this. That should work. I'm fucking big brain. We just need to raise the volume. <laughs> See, like, you can control anything through your phone. That's one of the best things I like about Spotify on your phone. All right. We have good music. Ouch. That's actually a Minotaur, isn't it? I just realized. That's a flaming Minotaur. Okay, we'll pretend this is it. That way this works. I think we'll even need to raise it even more. Let's go! Find the flame is stuck on my fucking face in OBS, but I can't actually change it. So, you know, it's gonna be right there chilling. Because why not? Dun 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 dun. 
Don't tell me this is a peak now. Play Final Fantasy 16, guys. It's a good game. <laughs> okay, you asked me if I don't like uh, Screamo, how come I like the rumbling? So I think I talked about that before. Rumbling as a song means a lot to me, right? Because it's about an event I waited for years upon years. Second of all, my favorite section of the song is not the Screamo, mind you. It's hype. It's pure fucking hype right there. Because it's not exactly like non-stop Screamo. I don't know, I can feel the actual melody in that song. Like, that's the thing. And when it comes to most Screamo, I, I can't even concentrate on the melody itself. It's crazy how much music adds to games. It's unfucking real. Raise thy lantern, pioneer. Upon the front frontier. It's fucking crazy. Alright, Devil's Trigger guy time. Bro, this shit is doing so much damage. Will we be, will we be able to kill the boss before it's finished though? That's the question. Because if not, I'd have to go into my phone and <laughs> do it again. I think we can, I think we can, come on. Yeah, we kill him. Let's go. We got to experience peak for a fight. We got to experience actual peak for the fight. It's so close to finishing that, you know, might as well. <laughs> See, this mission has been made a thousand times better just because we had Find a Flame. Just because we had Find a Flame in the background, this mission was made like 10 times better. This fight was made like 10 times better just because we had Find a Flame. When in doubt, you put Find a Flame, that's what I gather. Dante just walking away, not even a one liner in this game is big. <laughs> Bro is not talking at all. Yeah, it's really insane just how much good music changes everything. When you get into the music of the game, into the rhythm of the game with its music, it's fucking crazy. It's part of the reason why, like, I managed to play Sonic 06 and not want to kill myself. Right? Because the music in that game, it might be my favorite, one of my favorite, at the very least, Sonic soundtracks of all time. Sonic 06, like... The soundtrack is just fucking peak. Though that may surprise you, I actually feel like the level design of Sonic 06 is not bad. Caution. Here's the thing, when I play Sonic 06, if I ever play that game again for some fucking reason, I'm like, playing a Sonic is enjoyable, I think. It's not too bad. Warning. Playing a Shadow is not really fun, and playing a Silver is horrible, but like, I can manage, but the Sonic levels are not that bad, especially the level design. Are you going to play Project 06? I mean, why not? It should be fun to check it out. Caution. Am I supposed to press anything? Oh, okay. <laughs> Warning, the building will fucking explode. Go, go, Dante. Dante may cry. Why would I kill them? They're AFKing around. Oh shit, what a chase. What a chase, look at that. What music. Now this is big soundtrack, all right. With the uh, voice in the background telling us caution. I guess we're not going here. Okay. Have no idea where we're going. I think I have to kill the enemies first? Cause that one is not open too. Let's try killing the enemies, see if that will actually open the, the way. I'll probably request- just make sure the OST is on Spotify, okay? The enemies were, like, so afraid, they despawned. And they spawned back in when I went back here. That's, uh, that's something. They realized this was too peak for them. 
and they had to go away. I do not blame them. Why is he just AFKing? I don't fucking get that. Why is he AFKing? You really feel the uh, the high speed action-packed level this is supposed to be here. You can really tell there's the... Uh, yeah. Okay. Can I request something? Yeah, you can just, again, make sure it's on Spotify. Am I actually supposed to kill these people here? Might as well. Like, <laughs> the door's not opening there, so uh, I need to do something with my time. Question is if. Uh, this game has the same problem as before where enemies overstay their, their welcome. Like, Jesus Christ. How many of them did I kill? And they just keep on spawning and spawning. I'm beginning to think they will spawn indefinitely. And they're not even attacking me, that's the thing. They are literally AFKing and they spawn in. Oh, that's an <laughs> Don't say you don't get any fun service on this stream, come on. You all enjoy that. Okay, yeah, they just keep on spawning, I think. They just keep on fucking spawning. Do I still get red orbs when I kill them? That usually is a giveaway. Yeah, you do. Holy shit. I, no way you're supposed to be here for so long. No way I'm supposed to be here for so long. I'll go the other path. Ain't fucking... No way. I'm supposed to be standing still and killing all of those guys for five or... How many fucking minutes that was like? No way. The question is how do I open the door? By using the other door right here. That is probably the... The correct answer. Nice. Am I supposed to like punch this or something like before? Probably not. Cool Dante jump? There is no cool Dante jump here. What the fuck do I do? Is this sword relevant to something? Oh yeah, Vendetta. Let's go. Now what? Do I have to equip said Vendetta and uh, use it for something? Because I, I thought I'd have to... Maybe, you know what? Maybe I do actually have to do that. SWORD! Vendetta! Okay. Yeah, no, that's not it. I guess the Vendetta wasn't like... personal. Yeah. No, seriously, what the fuck do you do here? Maybe I jump up. There is no jumping up. Warning. Nope. Yeah, I have no idea what to do. <laughs> That's fucking dark. Is that like a child in a capsule? That's really fucking dark. A literal baby by the looks of it too. Can I please put Airbuster? Sure. Now we have to go and open my phone. And we have to search for the air. And that should be enough based on my taste. Yeah, there you go. It's already found it. Now we just press next. <laughs> Fucking goaded. Uh, now what though? Uh, where do we go here? Because this is not opening. Maybe I have to go devil trigger guy mode. Yeah, no, that's not opening. Uh, I guess we get out. Maybe there was a door on the other side I, I missed. I bust the low key feats, I think, for what we're doing, maybe. I'm just not sure where we're even going in this game. Yeah, I, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Literally no clue. Now this is called peak level design, mind you. Because there's nothing better than like a timer telling you you have to get out fast and you don't even know where you're supposed to go or what you're supposed to do. Maybe I'm just supposed to stand still. Yeah, that did not work. Uh, 
Maybe I'm supposed to interact with this. There's no interact button, you just dodge into things. Okay. I was like pretty sure you had to punch this around and open this up, but no. Okay then. Uh, what the fuck? These do not open. I just got a sword in that room. Okay, now what? Is it because I have to kill- no way, I just have to waste time and kill those guys. Like, I refuse to believe this is the future of the level. Maybe I have to go back up for some reason? Should not have jumped down. Like, I actually have no idea. Yeah, they will just spawn in indefinitely. Yeah, no, I can't interact with this, cannot interact with anything here. I'm lost. <laughs> I'm actually lost. There's only one room. There's only one room. It's the room on the right. I'm not seeing any other door, any other place to go. The room on the right doesn't really have anything interactable. I mean, from what I tried, maybe I missed it. Maybe this is the ending of the game. Dante is just stuck in this room and it's over for him. Yeah. Because, like... You would think you'd have to do something with this, but... Nope. I have no idea what to do. Am I supposed to, uh, interact with this dude? No, I cannot. I have no clue what you're supposed to do in this level. Devil may die indeed. I can look at, like, do my Sephiroth impression and walk away in the fire. If that's cool enough, but like, other than that, no. Nothing else we can do here. Yeah. I thought the sword might be the key, but it's not. Um, well, that's Devil May Cry 2. Uh, this is the ending of- wait. Are you fucking joking? Does this look like a door to anyone? Does this like- Are you fucking joking? Like, legit- are you kidding? Is the game trolling me? Right now. What the fuck was that? Okay. Cool. Let's see if we can make it in time. Cause we are Dante May- uh, We are Dante May Cry. And we make our enemies die. Sometimes. It really depends. Airbuster is so fucking good though. Holy shit. So fucking good. Am I supposed to jump up there? I can't. No, I'm not. Oh. Yeah, I know they kick in with the fucking lyrics. Bro, I need my part 3. Square Enix, please. I have brain broth from mindlessly spamming the guns. <laughs> Did any of you see the doors? Did any of you actually see the fucking doors? The door, like... Anyone. Well, look at that. We wasted like six minutes, I think, doing absolutely nothing, and we still managed to get all the way here. Let's see if we can make it out, though. Cool Dante guy making his way up. As you can see, he is really under pressure. In DMC2, there are dozens of stuff that make the game the masterpiece it is. There are sound effects, such as walking around uh, sound effects, which makes the game more better. Yeah, that is true. Open the door, Don- Yeah, I don't remember coming from here, though. I might be wrong. Where did we come from here? I honestly don't remember how I, how I even got here. Alright, same problem as before, then. We're stuck, step bro. Because I do not remember how we made it through. Maybe I need to punch it this time. Maybe that's the answer, finally. What? No, you're not looking at the correct- No, you're still not looking. He's locked onto an enemy from beyond the wall. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's gonna keep doing that, isn't he? 
Yeah, he's gonna keep doing that. Yeah, he's just going to keep on walking on two enemies instead of interacting with the door. Tell me, Ty, how is the cinema? Oh, it's peak cinematography, dude. No words are needed. I think it speaks for itself. I think anyone, even people who have never studied, studied cinematography, can tell you that this is peak. Yeah, I cannot, like, jump the door thingy. I cannot attack it. So I don't even know if that's what I'm supposed to do, so... We tried. We can't jump up. Maybe if they get close enough and I... Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to hit that. I have no idea what you need to do in this level. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what you're supposed to do in this level. Like, I know they want me to wait to make the way back. Uh, but I don't fucking remember how we even got here. So, uh, yeah, maybe I'm supposed to punch this. Oh no, he's locked. No! He is locked. Oh, there you go. Was that enough? No, there's probably like three of them, isn't there? Yeah. Alright, I guess we we'll just restart mission and do that from the beginning. Uh, do I really have to play more though? We got Undertale soundtrack. Yeah. By the way, what's my favorite movie? I don't know if I can choose my favorite one easily, but I can like tell you Godfather 1 is one of my favorites of all time. I've always appreciated the game too from 1997, I believe, the exact uh, date of release. I always enjoyed watching that with my dad. Uh, Oppenheimer is a good one that comes to mind. To be honest, most Christian Bale movies will come to mind. I fucking love his direction style, he's amazing. He's probably like my favorite director so far. My favorite alive director at least. <laughs> but if you're looking for a pretty like new movie to watch, you're not into old movies, then like Oppenheimer is good, but like Godfather is amazingly fucking good. I recommend watching Godfather. If you if you never watch Godfather, like watch the movies. Oh, I already have the sword. I don't even have to collect that again, Lamar. Yeah, oh, I already missed the Arabas for sure. Now we can like actually see the pick that this level is supposed to be without like the banger music in the background. Thank you, Final Fantasy VII. Thank you for existing. Gonna fucking hit me? Yep. Yeah, they certainly searched cool music and decided to make it. What I think of Godfather 2, I enjoyed all Godfather movies, really. First one is still my favorite. I recommend everyone watch them. Like, I, I recommend everyone sit down and watch Godfather 1 and 3, like 1, 2, 3. Good movies. Amazing movies. Okay, now I get it. I couldn't even see the things before when it showed them to me, but there you go. Now I understand what we, what we need to do here. They blend into the background a little too much. No, no! He's immediately locked on into the enemy in the air. <laughs> so every time I try to attack, he turns around and tries to attack the enemy instead of the thing. Look at that. I have to try and position myself correctly, no, so we can actually attack the thing, and not the enemy. Oh my god. Holy shit, please. Dante, there you go. You accidentally hit it, good job. Good job, Dante from Devil May Cry. You did it. Automatic lock is on is cancer. I mean, it wouldn't be too bad if it automatically locked into the ob object you're touching or something like that. That wouldn't be too bad, to be fair. Let's go, Dante. We can make it. Why would you fight enemies? I don't get it. But okay. We are Dante from Devil May Cry. Get out. I'm so cool. 
I'm so cool they made a second game about me. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that. Something is pushing us back. Okay, that looks so janky. I, <laughs> I was sure that, that was a bug in the game. Right, let's go. Dante from Devil May Cry is gonna make it out. If the fan is behind. Oh, okay, there's one in front of us too. Yeah, I was about to say, if the fan is behind us, it doesn't really make sense that we're getting pushed back now, does it? Damn, Halo wish it was so epic with its uh, escape the facility type of thing. I have to get off my lazy ass and try Devil May Cry. Uh, you should totally try Devil May Cry 2, I assure you, this will be one of the games you ever played. I'm not supposed to be in there? Oh, okay. Something is bothering the plane. Oh no, I, I drove the plane into the, th the thing. Okay. <laughs> right. Pain and suffering. Now we put what I've done, right? Will you be back, Dante? Yes, in Devil May Cry 3. Directed by and put the name of like, like Capcom and shit. What I've done. I think that's enough peak for today. I think that is enough peak for uh for today. I think we've established that a peak is indeed happening and we'll continue this peak on Friday when my brain cells are ready for more of it. I'm ulti fouring. I've honestly I could have just like minimized the game, that would have been enough, but yeah. There you go. I think we've all established peak is indeed happening in real time. Yeah, yeah, one more level. No, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> my brain cells are not ready for more. Okay, like, uh, no, not today. On Friday, on Friday, we'll finish the game. On Friday, we'll finish this uh, whole wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. One more. No, guys, I can't. I already closed it like enough. Come on. What is the best escape sequence I've ever played? Halo. Halo 3, probably. Either Halo 1 or, or Halo 3. So, uh, yeah. Do we have to play this game? <laughs> yeah, we we should. I mean, we're, we're gonna finish it and that's it. Can't we just play 3 already? Honestly, honestly, we could. Honestly, we could. We wouldn't lose anything if we did that. But I already started... Might as well get it over with. Might as well just finish it, you know? Like, ex finish the fight. Exactly. Exactly. The game doesn't look interesting. It's not. It's not interesting. It doesn't look interesting. It doesn't play interesting. It's not interesting, to put it very, very mildly. To the, like, saying the game is not interesting is a compliment, to be honest. But, like, it is what it is, okay? Like, we're gonna finish it. We're gonna finish it on Friday. Just get it over with. Uh, experience the peak we've seen here once and for all and like move on and get to Devil May Cry 3. The actual pick, I'm gonna start. Uh, it's a video, not song, okay. Let's, let's see here. Vinny, DMC2 is the best. It's just a black screen though, is it? The whole video is a black screen, so... No, it's co they're, they're correct though, they are right. He's right. They're right though, they are right. I don't think he, like, he never played it, did he? Yeah, he never played it. I can already tell he never played the game. He has no idea what he's missing. That's all I have to say to that. He legit, he has no idea what he's missing. Oh, that, it continues. He went on to, to talk about Bayonetta 2. 
we need Sil <laughs> Tell you what, for next game, I think either I'll already like put Subway Surface on the right side of the screen as we are uh, playing DMC2, or I'll, I, I maybe I'll do Big Brain. Maybe I will actually turn on the PlayStation, <laughs> and at the same time, we will play literally anything else. Okay, maybe we'll play the Persona card game. Maybe we'll play. Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, Piano Game, I don't know, we'll do literally two things at the same time, I think that's a wonderful idea, that's a wonderful idea, I think we'll do that, okay, yeah, we will, do, yeah, on Friday, we'll just play Peter two Freeman games. Peter says, can't wait for one to two hours of Giyun play, there is no gameplay. That is true, that is, that is really true, that is, we'll do that, we'll play two games at the same time, you know what, fuck it, we balling, we balling, because... Yeah, can't next stream have all Final Fantasy VII Rebirth cutscenes in the back? <laughs> we could watch, guys, you could pick whatever, we could watch a movie, we could watch an anime episode, See, I could play two says, games DMC2's at the same time. We could literally is like literally the PlayStation do. 5 set of games. There's none of both. We could literally do so many things at the same time as playing DMC2. Like, really. If I wouldn't get copyrighted, I would watch AOT with you on stream. If I wouldn't get copyrighted for it, I would do it on stream. Like, fuck it, I would just watch an episode with you. Why not? Yeah, well, figure it's, I could play Final Fantasy XIV at the same time. I could play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, the piano minigames. I could launch on Persona 5. Maybe we'll do a playthrough as I play through this fucking game. Maybe we'll do the card minigame. That was always fun. We could do Final Fantasy 16 bosses at the same time, just to have something interesting going on in the background. Okay, like, there's so... We could watch Godfather together, why not? Like... We could do so many things when all I do in this fucking game is hold this button right here. That's all I need to do when I play this game. Like, my... I have a free hand... I could bring a tape, okay? I could bring a literal tape and tape this right here, right? Like, I, I can just do this and tape it, and that's it. My hands are literally free for boss fights because that could just be right there, taped onto this to hold the button down, and I am literally free to play whatever. We can leave that, like, right here and launch on the PlayStation at the same... Oh, fuck, I really gotta clean this. And launch on the PlayStation at the same time. And yeah, that's all you gotta do. I fucking hate white peripherals, dude. Why would you make a controller white? Why would you make any- My mouse is white. I don't understand why you would ever make peripheral- Why would you do this? And most people don't actually- Oh, do we, we need alcohol over this. Yeah, most people don't actually bother to clean their fucking peripherals. It's unreal. White peripherals are just stupid. Honestly, just a stupid idea. Never do that. That's 100% alcohol, by the way. I'm gonna pour just a little bit. There you go. Something like that is enough. And then you just clean with it. Not too hard, mind you. You don't want to scrub too hard. Uh, but like, just like this is enough. Please clean your peripherals, guys. Like, clean your shit. Everything, I mean, right? Like keyboard, mouse, pad, whatever. Like, all of it. Just clean it. I don't know. It annoys me when things are dirty. Eh, you. There you go, that's good enough. Like, you, you could see the dust accumulate on this thing, and I, I don't like that. Or, you know, finger stains, because these will always happen eventually as you sweat and, like, exist. It is what it is, you're human. Like, and it's fine, just clean it, you know? <laughs> Make sure you clean your things. This is my takeaway, like, this is my takeaway from Devil May Cry, okay? Clean your shit. That's it. That's what I learned playing DMC2. How about next stream I play Yakuza 0, like, at the same time as DMC? I mean, I, I need to buy the game, though. I used, uh, what do you call it? I used Game Pass last time I tried the games. Because they had everything right, and I need to buy that again. C underscore for here says, do a poll of what you're going to do next stream while DMC2 is on. <laughs> I could. 
I could. It should be like a simple mini game in case I do need to move around and shit. So like that's why Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is a really, really, really good idea. Cause uh Rebirth you have so many mini games. We could do the Queen's Blood mini game at the same time. We could do the piano mini game. That's why also Persona 5 is a good idea, because you have the card mini game, which I absolutely fucking love. So it's need it needs to be something simple like that at the same time there. Come on. There you go. That's the way it should be. See this? This is a clean controller. It's now clean. This is how it's supposed to be. I don't understand why they made it white though. I also need to clean the console itself. I think it's about time. One scrub should be enough though. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Almost. Maybe a little more. Yeah, clean your shit, people clean your fucking shit it's important okay it'll hold out longer okay believe me trust trust i also need to clean my pad a little bit i think just a little bit table is clean enough i cleaned it yesterday there you go good enough uh don't you have a chocobo glide yeah we could do chocobo gliding maybe <laughs> honestly just have a I, I could I, on, I could clean my room in real time as we play this game, right? Because I can just unplug the controller or take it with me. And we can just do that in real time. Like, there's so much shit I can do here. I could go to sleep. I, I could go to sleep and hold a button down and we'll be okay during bosses. There's so ma many other things I could do as I play the game. I hope DMC will get better because I don't want to see a killing myself stream. <laughs> Hot tub. I could go take a shower. Like, honestly, we could go take a shower. Why not? Fuck it. I would love to see a shower stream. Guys, my abs are amazing right now. I don't know how to tell you. I would show you a picture. I would. I would show you an OnlyFans picture. I don't really have an OnlyFans picture, but like, after every workout, you know the feeling, right? Like, insane fucking abs, dude. I'm so happy. I'm so happy, I, I wish it, holy shit, for, for free dude, just for you guys, for free, now we're gonna get banned in real time, if I ever wanna stop streaming, remind me to just like take my shirt off and, or something, like, easy way to, uh, to end the channel, to be honest, how many workouts per week, three to four, three to four, I mean, you can see the fucking bicep, can you, in a way, there you go, that's enough fan service, okay, I think I'm gonna stop for today, I want to go downstairs and I want to like pet Bunny. And that's it. That should be enough to cheer me up after this. After whatever this peak was. On Friday, we'll be playing two games. <laughs> we'll be doing DMC2 as the main game and like make the poll. I'll do it on Discord. I'll do it on. The thing is, I'm not even sure what options to give you there. That's the thing. So you guys can suggest things you'd want to see and like in the discord channel and i'll just like make a poll i'll try to hit some more stream hey appreciate it dude type please there are only fans girls showing but i'm not a girl that's the problem i'm not a girl if i was a girl i could twitch would let me i'm a guy though whatever i do I i'd get like the ban hammer asap if they get like catch win one way or another watch a new anime while playing the game but then i can show you guys the new anime because we're gonna get copyrighted you know, like, that's why movies and animes are off the table, because we can't do that. Especially because the bot is going to be uploaded later, right? To uh, YouTube, and that, like, is even more dangerous. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Watch pre No, if I watch a new show, come on, it's going to be, like, something uh, <laughs> that I actually want to watch. <laughs> I'm not into fan service, I told you. I fucking hate itchy and fan service and all that shit. I, I don't like it. I feel uncomfortable watching it. If I want to watch porn, I'll watch porn. Why do I need to see it in, like, animated? It's, it's like, I don't know. Not my thing. Never could really get into it. SNES gameplay? Could do whatever, honestly. We could do... We can do whatever. But the thing is, though, it needs to be, like, on the second monitor. So that's why PlayStation is a good idea, because I can watch it on here on my television or on the second screen uh, without losing sight of chat. So we, I need to keep that in mind too. Ah, uh, but we'll do, we'll do something. Follow New Vegas. I never played it though. I don't think we want to do like something that requires too much concentration at the same time, right? Because again, in case the game 
something happens in the game here. So that's why a simple mini game such as a card game or like, I don't know, something a little more chill would be good. I'll figure something out. Maybe we'll even switch more than one game. Don't worry about it. We'll see you on Friday when we do two games at the same time because this game is certainly something. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll be done for today. Catch you guys on Friday when we continue this speak experience once again. Yeah, that's gonna be something. All right, see you later. Uh, have a fantastic rest of the day. Play Final Fantasy XIV if you.